I don't remember how many servings I said this is, but I'd eat it all. I need a cup of chickpea flour to get started on that soca batter. Add in half a teaspoon of garlic powder. Salt, 3 quarters of a teaspoon. A cup of water. And a tablespoon of olive oil. Set this aside for 20 to 30 minutes to allow that chickpea flour to hydrate with that water and get a little bit thicker. This is the soca batter. Rested, so it's a little bit thicker, but it's not as thick as a normal pancake. Now, I've got a cast iron skillet in my 475 degree oven. I want that to be smoking hot for this batter to go in. Add in a tablespoon of olive oil. Now that batter goes into that pan. And then that needs to go into my 475 degree oven for 18 to 20 minutes. My soak has been in the oven for 20 minutes, but the top doesn't have a lot of color. So I want to broil it for about one to two minutes. So here we go. OK, I'm going to call that. I just wanted that little bit of a golden brown color on there. Slice the crispiness. Oh my gosh. And it's kind of creamy on the inside. I personally love it with greens on top, with herbs in there too, and green goddess dressing. Oh my gosh. That savory chickpea flour and that crispy little pancake. Man, they really know what they're doing in France. I don't know if you know. French food, it's delicious.